Hello everyone, this is Bradley Sword, and this is my Day 12 Part 2 solution to the Garden Group's problem, Advent of Code 2024. I'm doing this in Python, as always, almost here. And so, for this part, Part 1 was relatively simple, quote-unquote, I thought. Um, you just need to figure out, for each of the groupings, and you can watch the other video, for each of the groupings, you need to figure out the area, which is just the number of elements that make up the grouping. And then basically I figured that uh, the perimeter is four times the area minus the neighbors of each individual area unit. And then you, you, know, you, you just follow their math and you get the solution that you're looking for. So I thought that was relatively straightforward. And so now for part two, you're like, well, now I need to find sides, not perimeter. And this is where we're going to lose a ton of people. Um, this is this was challenging. I, I can't believe I actually found a solution in this. Just thinking off the top of my head, came up with an algorithm for it, and it actually worked. Took a while. Uh, didn't account for a few things, but I got it to work. So this is um, this is the code. I am not proud of it by any means, but it gets a solution. So let me just show it off, quote unquote, show it off. Um, so what the hell am I doing here? Okay, so. Just like before, I'm, I'm setting up a map of characters, uh, you know, like each individual unit goes to a character, so X and Y coordinates. For whatever reason, I'm using Y, X, that's just how I'm going, because it, it, it goes, what, you know, Y, then X, which column, and then which row, that's how we generate what we're looking for. And so the same thing goes here, where I'm just picking a random spot. Uh, this is from part one. I'm picking, I, I might have changed it a little bit just to accommodate other things, but the, let me just talk high level, right? You can look at the, you can look at low level all you want. You're like, well, get me one element of whatever's left over. It doesn't matter what, because that one element is part of a single group. And so from there, I get a element, any element, and then I'm generating all the, uh, all the area units that are part of that one grouping. And so just to show here, I call it finals here. And I go, in this one grouping, there are, that's quite a bit of them, right? There are 117 units um, that are in that, in, in that, that, that grouping. Uh, it's a huge amount for, what I, for that first grouping, 117 items. But then what am I doing once I have that? And you can kind of see, this is where the fun, that's, this is where the fun is. I com yeah, um, so this time around, when I added this, uh, I went through and I figured out, well, which which of the four cardinal directions of this, this is zero, this is one, this is two, and this is three. Well, when I try to go in each of those directions and there's not a there's not a neighbor, well, that's where a fence has to go. So that's why you can see here in my finals list, you can see that like for zero, zero square, there's a one and a three, which means that when I tried to go this way and this way, it didn't work out. When I tried to go to the right, I get uh, when I tried to go to the left and when I tried to go up. So it makes sense for square zero, zero, I couldn't go left and I couldn't go up because that went outside the bounds of the array. And so for each of the elements there, we're looking for, okay, so this is the element number and then these are the directions where there are fences. And you're like, well, who the freaking cares? And I go, well, now what you do, <laughs> now, now that you have this listing of all the squares with all of that, you basically just start working your way down and you're okay so now this is one grouping and once you do this for one you can just do this for everything right so so what you do then is now that I have the finals list I go well I find this square and I find the, I, I just picked I'm just gonna pick the first element the one and now the question is if I take this this you know zero zero going in the one direction which is up and down right yep the one direction this is up and down I'm trying to find all the squares that basically are aligned with are aligned with that and the vertical direction until we reach a neighbor or off the square that isn't. And so and again, this is just for one of the sides. So what, what then what we do is we go through and again, this is inefficient to all holy heck, but it gets the job done is that when I get down to here for the a no hold on let me make sure I do this for a specific side here okay so for a specific side let me put in a pass here so I can put in a breakpoint back here and so for an individual side it will figure out that okay here oops there we go for an individual side it will say that here are the you know zero one 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 two gone and so basically it figured out that there's a 
16 length side uh, that basically, and if you look at the data over here, you know, my hands are freezing again. So if you just go back to this here, let me just hold this. So you can see that there's, here's the, here's the side I'm talking about. This down here from 0, 0 down to 0, 15 is basically where this one side is. And then what happens is I erase the ones from all of those, from all of those elements in the map. Uh, then it happens as I'm, you know, I delete all the numbers from there. So now when I look at the map settings here and I come back to finals, you can see that all the ones are gone from that, that grouping. And then I just continue on. And so in this case here, when I come out of this thing, that's just for one side. I go, well, now let's do another side and another side and another side and, and for this one specific element. And then when I finally fall out of this loop, I get down to here. And let me just put an F5 or there. And then when I hit that, I go, well, the area, there were 117 units in that area, like we talked about, and there ended up being 36 total sides to that, you know, the, to the thing. We, and then we got go on to the next one. And so now just coming back here, now all of the location, uh, all of the finals haven't been de determined yet because I have to do it again. And so now for here, I go, okay, now, whoops, what do I have here, finals? I have one element, and it's basically all four directions and so forth. And again, it just continues on. I am too tired to talk more about it already. But but when I do this and I run this code the way we're talking about here, and you reduce down the numbers for the sides, and then you reduce this down to the nothing that you end up with, you end up with uh, 953,738 which just happens to coincide with the answer I'm looking for, for the number of sides multiplied by the area for each individual thing to get the price. And I am freaking done. I'm taking the day. I'm taking the day. I got work to do tomorrow. And uh, catch up on finals week here. But this was a fun, challenging thing to think about. I enjoyed it. I hope maybe you do too. The challenge of it was was delightful. So thanks for sticking it out with me as always. If you have comments, if you know a better way, I'd love to hear it. So thanks. Have a good one, everybody. Take it easy.